Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. General reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. As an added benefit to our members, the event is entirely and 100% free, only though exclusive for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free again for all annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up and or attending this event, DM T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys today as Matt, who goes by Chicago Trader in chat, does another how-to series on the fundamental side and or the SEC filing side of trading, and it's kind of a Memorial Day review. Now, while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey, what's up, everyone? Chicago Trader for checking in for the weekly fundamental video here. Hope you guys have a nice Memorial Day weekend as the markets close Monday. I um, wanted to go over a few questions I got just on some specific names and uh, just a few things that I saw this week that thought, uh, you know, might be interesting to you guys. So uh, first one was BIOC, Biocept, um, you know, known kind of turd. Got a couple questions on like what was a float. Um, and this one, it's actually kind of difficult. Um, so basically, they, they're a smaller company. I mean, you can see 16 million share market cap. So. On the 23rd, right around there, they did an offering for, what was it? oh, this, so this is a secondary. Normally, right, they don't um, raise money, but um, because, you know, it's just an insider selling. But anytime that you have warrants associated with it, that will raise money if they're in the, in the money and they get exercised. <clears throat> so the float here is right around 17, 18 million. Um, let to see, the, the warrants were exercisable. At a dollar twenty-five, so you know when you got a float that's around seventeen million, and uh, you know you got basically it's called six million um, warrants that can be exercised. It's going to be a lot of overhead pressure. Um, not, I mean, not a ton like OTLK, but uh, you don't know for sure how many of these are exercised, so you can never know the float precisely. You know, unless they uh, update in the next ten Q, or uh, you know, they come out with a press release that says, "Hey." We exercise these. We have enough uh, money, you know, for uh, going forward. Yeah, you can see this day it closed pretty strong on day one at like 150. So even then, I mean, yeah, I guess it could have, you know, 60 million, but it still needs to be at like 145, 150 to exercise that much. But the next day, with it going up to two, 180, I think it dumped right out of the gate. It probably got hit. Um, when you look at OTLK, which is another one I wanted to cover real quick, they had a ton of. Uh, Warrants, where was it at? Yeah, so they just had, you know, they had some sh common shares at uh, 275, and then they did the warrants at 290. Um, and it was quite a few, um, what was it? 10 million shares of common and 20 million. Oh, yeah. So again, the float on this is 9 million. So if you want to exercise 20 million warrants at uh, 290, you're going to need this thing at 350, 375, and above for a while. Um, just in my opinion, and so I don't think even to this day, um, I don't think very many of these were exercised. Even when you kind of look at it here, it did get above it. And I think pre-market it was at like four, but um, light volume on it. Yeah, again, I I don't know. This thing's just a headache. I kind of mentioned that like this is a complete avoid for me. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley ninety in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC. Joining MIC, maybe you're a member already. You have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs and chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.